Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial. I am Mr. 23 and today we are going to talk about the duotone effect. The name the word duotone has two parts, duo and tone. Duo means double and tone refers to colors. Toning is the process of recoloring grayscale images. Duotoning means that we can do the same thing of recoloring an image but with the use of two colors only. So when we are using duotone we are replacing the darks with a color and the lights with another color. We can use this for posters, book covers, flyers, brand identity designs for mockups to have a greater impact of the final message. So for this tutorial I'm going to use this image that I have it from Unsplash. You can find the link for this file in the description of the video. Alright, so the duotone process is really simple. Photoshop has some really interesting ways of doing that and one of the easiest is using gradient map. So click on the adjustment layers here below, choose gradient map and now we can play around with the colors. The left color is referring to the darks of the image. So as you can see I'm using this color and the right color is referring to the lights of the picture. In my case I'm going to use a bluish color. Okay, now I'm using a um, brighten and contrast adjustment. I'm going to decrease the contrast so I have more details and increase the brightness a bit. So basically it takes less than one minute to do a duotone image but if you want to make for example a poster you can play around more. Now I'm taking the rectangle tool or press U. I'm drawing a rectangle. Now double click on the rectangle. Choose fill opacity to zero. Go to gradient overlay and here be sure that on the blend mode is selected hue and you can play around with the colors to choose your best colors. In my case I used those two colors but if you want you can change them anytime. As you can see if we move this rectangle it adds a really nice slice to my image. Now I want to rotate this rectangle so press Ctrl or Command T and just rotate it and place it where you want it to be. Now if you want the viewer to be focused on a part of the original picture you can bring back the original colors if you delete some parts of the gradient map of the mask. I am taking the marquee tool, the round one, I am drawing a circle let's say here on her face and be sure that the mask of the gradient map is selected and just press alt or option and delete. You can move this around and place it wherever you think it's better. Let's add more details. Take again the rectangle marquee tool this time, draw a rectangle, create a new layer, right click on the screen, choose stroke and here you can use something like 40 pixels and the color should be white. We want to align this rectangle with the original picture and I'm pressing Ctrl or Command and click on our background layer. And now as you can see here on top you have the horizontal align and the vertical align. If you want to delete some parts of this rectangle it's really easy you just add a mask and if you press on this rectangle this one let's move it a bit to the top if you hold ctrl or command and click it adds this selection. Now go on the rectangle mask and press alt or option and delete. As you can see it deletes this part of the rectangle. Now let's add some text. Using Duotone is really fun and as you can see it's really fast actually and it has a nice impact on your final result. So don't hesitate to use it whenever you think you need it. This was the tutorial for today. If you want to be in touch with the latest tutorials please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.